PC Walls is really based on 20 or more years of research done in Sydney and other parts of the world by ourselves and, and colleagues. And the whole idea, it's actually quite simple, is to reintroduce some of the microhabitats that we are missing from these infrastructures back into those. So the panels, they mimic natural features of our habitats like rock pools and crevices. Some of them have rows so fish can swim through. Oysters and kelps, they are what we call habitat forming organisms. So they themselves serve as habitat and food for a lot of species. So they underpin a lot of biodiversity. And biodiversity is important for so many reasons, right? They actually underpin all the services we need in terms of water quality, climate regulation. So when we lose that, we are really threatening our own survival. Biodiversity matters for a number of reasons. We know that the more species we have, the greater the ecological function. And the more water that's filtered, the greater the productivity, and the greater the blue carbon sequestration. With loss of species, we tend to lose these important ecosystem functions. We're also really excited to, to go global and to really start to address the issue of urbanization in cities around the world. We're interested in how we can modify pilings, how we can modify pontoons as well because there's really a wealth of hard structures that need to be designed with more ecological benefits in mind. We know that we're going to have more seawalls being built around the world but there's really no reason why we can't design all of them with living seawalls in mind to make sure that we are maximizing the kind of habitat out there for our marine creatures. <laughs>